Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So today we're going to talk about our finest and cleanest city in the country, the city that never sleeps, the place that dreams are made of, where women keep getting punched directly in the face for no particular reason at all. Obviously, we're talking about New York City. But before we get into the hellhole of New York City and what's going on this week, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. So this all started after social media saw an influx of women on TikTok filming themselves right after allegedly being punched by a random person on the street. First of all, that's horrifying. And second of all, this is one time when I actually really do love social media because this happened so freaking fast. Like immediately after it happened, they called 911, they did whatever, but they filmed and said, look at my black eye, look at this welt that is growing on my face. This just happened, I'm right here. They're not even journalists, but they're giving us more information about our cities, what's going on than our government. Just, you know, an aside. And all of these girls have been in their early to mid 20s. One of them was actually a well-known TikToker. Her name is Haley Kate. You can go watch a bunch of her videos. She's done a whole basically series talking about what happened and what has happened in the aftermath. But here is her video from immediately after she was assaulted. I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I mean, guys, that is intense. That is not just like, oh, she got kind of shuffled around in New York City or she got slapped. Not that that would be any better by any means. She was fully punched in the head. She has a welt growing out of her forehead from where she was punched. I mean, it's insane. Somebody commented and said the way I immediately assumed and knew that she was in New York. And on an even more interesting note, the internet sleuths have gone even deeper. Just look at this headline. Fringe political candidate who ran for New York City mayor accused of sucker punching TikToker. I'm sorry. Thank God he did not get elected. <laughs> we know that Eric Adams is weak on crime, but... That would be a totally, totally different story. Somebody said, this is the second one I saw in 15 minutes. Guys, it is probably the 12th one that I have seen in the last 24 hours. Literally, I am not kidding. I am not exaggerating. I have seen at least 10, most likely 12 videos of different women. I mean, just go onto TikTok and search woman getting punched New York City. It's a weird search, I know, but you will be shocked. There are literally too many to include in one video. Now, I first saw this because it was brought to Twitter a couple of days ago by this poster. This is so nuts. There are a bunch of women getting punched in the face in NYC all over TikTok. I don't know if it's all the same guy. Some of the stories seem slightly different, but some of them seem similar. So there's Haley Kate in that first corner. There's a couple of other ones. I saw that and I thought it was really weird and I saved it and I was gonna go look it up. And then I, I just cannot tell you how many videos there are. It is disgusting. It is sad. It's there's so, so many. And it's all the same story. They're on a walk. A random person comes up to them and just socks them in the face. It happens just like that. It's horrifying. One of these girls who was allegedly hit in the face recounted her story in a Twitter thread. On Tuesday, March 19th, around 8 p.m., I was walking alone out of the Delancey Essex Street station when I got punched in the back of my skull from a random man on the street. Since then, I have seen several New York City women on TikTok reporting that they have been punched in the face. A lot of these women shared similar descriptions of the man who punched them and me. It was a black male around six feet wearing dreads that stopped right above his shoulders. I distinctly remember that he was wearing a knit hat and wearing a denim jacket and jeans. Most of these women say that they were looking at their phones when they were punched. I was attacked from behind. This all seems to me that he is targeting unassuming women. Nearly all of these women were attacked downtown in the Union Square, East Village, Lower East Side area. Fortunately, I'm okay. I had pain, vision, dizziness, headaches, and nausea since the attack. I didn't file a police report because I don't know how much help it'd be, but I decided I'll file one today. I went back to the scene yesterday, noticed security cameras, hope it helps. And first of all, if anything like this happens, Call the police. I know that in many of these cities, law and order seems like it just does not exist anymore, but at least call, at least file it, just so that somebody is on the scene quickly and can at least take account of the things that are going around you. Now, I also wanna go back to something else that she wrote, because her comment about unassuming women is so important. And I can be guilty of this as well, I'm prone to doing it, even after spending years doing intense self-defense courses, but get your head out of your phones. Take off your earphones. I know I will walk around with my headphones in not listening to anything. At least pull one out of your ear. Just be aware of your surroundings. Your phone or your music can wait five minutes while you're walking down the street if it means your physical safety is protected. That is what you should care about, not what somebody is posting on X or on Instagram. And obviously in New York City, you can't carry a gun, but figure out what you can carry. Whether it's a form of pepper spray or what size of knife it is legal to carry, just have something on you. Seriously, all of that aside, no matter what you carry, the best thing that you can do is be aware of your surroundings and then move away and yell if somebody starts to come after you. Literally, that is all. That will deter most people if you just make a scene. Back to the story, New York City is obviously a crime-ridden place and it just keeps getting worse no matter what Joe Biden said in the State of the Union address. I mean, obviously we should not be believing him because the man doesn't even think we're in a recession, but we are, guys. And while financial experts anticipate rate cuts, inflation in the United States still is a significant economic concern. And I mean, think about it seriously. 
The U.S. is in a hole by $34 trillion, and yet we keep printing money, which raises prices on everyday items even higher. You can bury your head in the sand, or you can do something about it. Consider diversifying at least a portion of your savings into gold with the Birch Gold Group. Gold is your perfect hedge against inflation, and Birch Gold makes it easy to own. They'll even help you convert your existing IRA or a 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in gold, and you will not pay a penny out of pocket. This truly is the best time to make gold part of your saving strategy, and if you're going to do it, you should do it with Birch Gold. They have been the exclusive gold partner of The Daily Wire for over seven years. They have helped thousands of our listeners and they can help you too. To get started, text Cooper to 989898 and you will get a free info kit on gold. And then you can talk to a precious metal specialist about protecting your savings from persistent inflation with gold. Again, text Cooper to 989898. They will give you all the information you need to get started, to not believe Joe Biden's lies and protect yourself just like women need to be protecting themselves in New York City. But this does not feel normal at all. And because of that, many people believe that this is coordinated or being done by one particular man. And I've seen commenters say that this could be a new iteration of the knockout game that started about 10 years ago where people would go knock out strangers in cities. It's sort of called a meme, but it obviously is not a meme because it has gotten people killed before. People have also been saying that it could be tied to a group called 4B and it's just a bunch of angry men targeting women. I could not find any more information about that. If y'all know anything, if you are deep in Reddit or Discord or something, comment below. Let me know. I am interested in that. But anyway, thanks in large part to this trend, girls have come together and have found some common themes here. One girl tweeted and said, some common threads popping up on these videos of women being punched in New York City. Number one, it sounds like he says something like, sorry or excuse me, just before attacking. Number two, he appears to be targeting women on phones. Number three, all the women I saw were in this general area of Manhattan. And per usual, this is not a surprise, but determined, scorned, hurt women are more effective than the FBI agent, and this barely scratches the surface of what women can find. And a very important thing to note is that this general area is right around NYU's campus. Washington Square Park is kind of right in the heart of NYU. This area has allegedly gotten very unsafe for students. Obviously, if this person or group is targeting young women, that is a great place to find them because they will be there. That's just one thing to note. Good note, Max. Now, one of the girls also posted this clip of the alleged guy as he walked away. Just watch. There he is walking away. So again, a tall African-American man. I can't tell if those are dreads or not, but it does match the description of the girl on Twitter as well. One girl said, another guy posted a video with the same guy. Another girl said, I was literally on the sixth train with him today coming from downtown. He was moving throughout all the cars, but I definitely remember that jacket and he had pajama pants on. And then the original poster of that video said, wow, the other girl, that girl P. Foreign, saw him on the train on Sunday acting all psycho too. New York City Police Department, get on trains. Oh yeah, do not worry. New York City and their robo cop cameras that move one mile per hour in the subway stations, they'll be on it for sure. They will be protecting you as NYCPD always does. I mean, come on, please. Like, Jack Mack will be a better form of protection for these women than that robot will. The king that you did not know you needed, the protector you do need, Jack Mack. It's the hero Gotham deserves. I'm just appreciating the idea of him standing outside making that video. But anyway, back to the point. Another woman commented and said, so everyone in the comments saying that that's the dude, why are we not reporting him so he can be taken in for a lineup and get charged? And the creator said, if you look at my next post, you will get a picture. The judge in New York City constantly lets these people go. Imagine that. The consequences of Democratic lax on crime policies. That is literally what you are seeing right now in the city. I mean, one guy on Twitter said, I'm sorry that you're disappointed with the natural consequences of the policies that you support. And while that is fair, I also do not think that this is the time to be throwing this in the faces of these young women who just got punched. It is okay to have empathy and sympathy for what they are going through, which is obviously very traumatic. Some of them have been in the hospital. Some of them have been concussed. You can have empathy while also explaining how this happened. The logical turn of events. I don't think we need to throw this back in their faces. But it is truly insane because like I said, this is at least 10 women who've been punched in just the last couple of weeks. And there are more that I've seen in the comments. Like for example, Bethany freaking Frankel. She was in one of the comment sections and she said, this is insane because this happened to me a few months ago, but I was embarrassed to say. I was on the Upper West Side insane. I was taking a video of a bakery. Nobody should live in this kind of fear. And there obviously is a solution for this. Elon jumped in on Twitter and said, failure to prosecute crime in New York and many other US cities allows for violent criminals to assault women at will. The governor had to call out the National Guard just so the people could ride the subway. And he is 100% spot on. Another girl on Twitter said, I almost got punched in Union Square last week while I was on my phone. I think it is more than one person though. And this totally adds up because another girl on TikTok said that she was grabbed from behind by a woman, pulled to the ground and then punched as she was exiting a subway station. I mean, guys, it is sickening, sickening stuff. Now, obviously this has gotten so big that the mainstream media has caught on. There are articles on this in basically every single major news outlet, but there's not really a lot of progress. 
with all of this press, the photos, the map, the cameras that New York City has all over its city, they have not been able to protect women over the past few months, the past few years. And I've said this before, but this is the primary reason why I left LA. In 2020 and 2021, the police department's funding was slashed. They eliminated a significant portion of their major crimes unit. Cops were retiring and quitting right and left to the way that they were being treated by the public and by the media and because of vax policies and crime was skyrocketing. Even in my San Fernando Valley, very, very safe suburb that had never experienced anything like that in years. Suddenly there were stabbings, there was gang violence. It happened like that. And I knew the laws. I knew that I legally could not carry a gun and defend myself. So why would I stay? So women in cities, you need to stay so vigilant. Keep your head up. Do not stare at your phone as you are walking down the street. Go take some self-defense classes, anything. And vote like your life and your safety depends on it because it quite literally does. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of the comment section and maybe even learned something new. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you want some hopefully more uplifting content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time.